Hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. Oh my goodness, I am so super excited about this project that I'm gonna show you today. I have two cherry blossoms to teach you how to do. They're both super easy, um, super affordable. All you're gonna need is some pink tissue paper. It can be medium pink, light, light pink, dark pink, it can be light pink with white words on it. You're gonna need some sticks from your yard, some scissors, a glue gun, and I do recommend using either a hot blow dryer or one of these heat guns to get all the strings off at the very end. So here's just a quick little sneak peek of what I'm gonna show you how to make. Okay, no more peeking. And let's pull out one of our twigs here. And let's get started. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to give you a quick little sneak peek at is this. We're gonna do that too. So I hope everyone's having a wonderful Saturday morning um, and that you're having a good spring so far. It is sunny in Atlanta. Oh my goodness. And you, you guys, it's Saturday, okay. The day before Easter 2021, but we're going back to church for the first time since this whole COVID thing. My husband and I are going to an outdoor Easter service this afternoon, so I'm super excited about that too. It's just a great day all around. Okay, so to make these cherry blossoms, like I said, um, you're, you just need some tissue paper. I'll show you what you do. You get one piece out here. I'm sure that you can find pink at Dollar Tree if you don't happen to have any pink. Um, if not, you can find it everywhere else. Walmart has it too, okay? So here's one sheet. And I'm just gonna fold it in half and half and half and half. It doesn't even have to be perfect. Um, so I'm gonna teach you guys my version of a cherry blossom. If you look around on the internet, there's a lot of different ways to do this, but I'm gonna do it my way, which is super affordable, really quick, not perfectionist. Um, I like the look of these branches with, of these three branches in it. I have a, a Hobbs Nail Milk Glass sort of vase thing with split peas in it that's holding everything up. So I'm gonna show you my version, which is a very simplistic version, and I think it's perfect. So if you're hopping on, say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know if you have any questions along the way. Um, feel free to sprinkle if you have friends that like these flower projects. I think that's really what I'm known for here at DIY Dreaming, probably, is that I'm obsessed with making flowers and I add them to <laughs> my projects all the time. So I've made at least 10 different kinds of flowers and um, you guys keep telling me that you're not bored of them so I keep coming up with more and more and more. Um, okay, so I have this all folded down to a small size. Let me grab my ruler because I know somebody's going to ask me how big am I going to make it and where did my pin go? Okay, so we're gonna draw a five petal rough shape. It could be as rotten as this one. <laughs> that was a terrible job, I did that last night. Or it could be better proportioned like this one. And you can do all the same size or you can do a variety of sizes. And you can put as many of these blossoms on your twigs as you want. So I um, actually, have I have a lot of these kind of things in my house right now. So I just borrowed three twigs from another arrangement that I had. But you could just walk outside, grab some twigs that have fallen off the trees. The good ones for this project are the ones that have all these little nubs and bumps because that's where we're going to be putting... Oh, don't look at my fingernail. <laughs> that's where we're going to be putting all our, um, our little flowers. So bring them in. If they're wet, you could turn your oven on to 160, put some tin foil in it, 
lay your branches in there for 20 or 30 minutes until they're dry. Um, or you could just bring them in and let them sit overnight uh, and then craft with them. Okay, so I have my tissue paper folded down and I wanna remember, I liked this bigger size a little bit better. Of course, that's not gonna work. Here we go. So I'm gonna draw a five petal flower. Can you guys see that? I mean, there's no pattern, okay? And it doesn't necessarily even have to be five petals. You'll be able to see it better when I cut it out. And I'm, I'm doing something that I shouldn't do. I'm using my really good fabric scissors because they cut through all these layers of um, tissue paper so much better. And of course you could cut these one by one, but why would you when you can cut 20 all at the same time? Okay, do I have glasses on me? Well, dang, I don't. I guess we'll do this with me um, just feeling my way. So now I'm just gonna cut it out. This one that I've written on, on the very top, I will throw that one away. And there's no reason why they all have to come out exactly the same shape. So I just wanna put you at ease that this is a project that does not require any kind of perfection. Oh my gosh, so the apple blossoms and cherry blossoms were blooming in Atlanta about a week, week and a half ago, and they were so beautiful this year. Um, most of them are pretty much done now. And I just love this look. Okay, so this is what we have. That's what I cut out and this is what I have. All right, so I have a whole bunch to work with. I have this size, which is about three inches across, roughly. And then I have this size that I cut out before, which is about two, two and a quarters inches across. All right, so the, um, the first thing you're gonna do, let's get rid of these really bad ones, is you're gonna take two pieces and put a little dot of hot glue in the center. And let me put my phone down a little bit further. If the comments here are bothering you, you should be able to swipe them one way or another, either to the left or the right, and they should disappear. Should, I said. Okay. So I'm just roughly putting a dot of glue in the center and then I'm putting the next piece on so that the petals are not aligned straight. You're gonna have glue strings everywhere for this project. It's terrible. Okay, and then you wanna just take a pencil or a mechanical pencil, whatever you like, and put the tip of it in the, um, about where the glue is. And you're just gonna start scrunching. The first few I did, I was trying to make them look all pretty. <laughs> but then I realized the more scrunched they are, the more actual realistic they look. Okay, so here's my scrunched piece. Oh, and by all means, use a low temperature hot glue gun for this project because you're gonna have glue everywhere. Once you get it scrunched into that little point, you're just gonna twist the end of it just a little bit to a hold of that. To a little point like that, okay? This is what the front looks like. It's not perfect. I hope you can tell. figure out which way to do it. Okay, and um, I have a few of them made over here. I'll show you how to put them on and then we'll go, we'll make some more. Okay, so I like to start towards the bottom and like I said, at each one of these little nubs where something was growing, that is where I want to put my cherry blossoms. And they're gonna be sort of 
facing all different directions on this stick. Don't worry if you have glue everywhere because when you get your um, either your blow dryer out on hot or a um, heat gun or an embossing tool that would work also it will it will melt the glue strings away. Okay, so can you see? I'm just starting to put them on here. And you can load it up or not with a whole bunch or not. It's just totally up to you. Once you get it on there, you kind of want to push it down into the glue. Okay, and look at my fingers already. So here's another nub right here. This one's coming apart. And my fingers are getting glued to it. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Let's make some more and I'll show you what we've got here. Strings galore. I wish somebody would invent some low temperature hot glue that doesn't do this glue string thing because look at my fingers. So this is where we are. Can you see how quick that comes together? What do you guys think? Do you like this idea? Um, I know I'm teaching you the very simplistic version of it, but that's all you need. Um, you don't you, you get the illusion of cherry blossoms when you see it all together. Um, so I think it's, I think it's pretty fabulous. Okay, let's make some more. Let's make a few with the smaller size. And I'm laying them sort of off center. So I heard from a few of you guys yesterday, this is interesting, what's well, kind of sweet, that you were worried about me because I didn't go live. But, um, I tried to go live every single day, but yesterday I was um, studying for Christ and Crafting tomorrow, and I really hope you'll join me for that because um, I've put a lot of thought into what I want to share with you guys and um, the craft projects. Um, so I was studying and getting ready for that. Then I was crafting ahead on this project, plus I'm working on these cute little risers that we'll do as a separate project. Super easy, like a um, dollar, dollar fifty a piece. Um, I'm just always crafting a few crafts ahead. Let's make a bunch of these so that we can just finish this whole project off. And then we'll start on the other thing, which is the garland. And I'm gonna show you how you can put some leaves on there. So anyways, I was in my Bible yesterday and then I was in my craft room crafting and everything is fine. I just, it's, it's hard to keep your, you know, prepared for your upcoming stuff, upcoming craft projects and go live and stay on top of answering all you guys' questions and everything. So I, would say almost every week I go live every day but this week I did not and everything was just fine and I probably should have just posted to say hey guys I won't be live today but of course it didn't occur to me until I saw people saying are you okay okay so each piece of tissue can do oh my gosh so many flowers. Um, it's just, it, this is a super affordable project, especially if you have access to twigs. Go to the park if you live in an apartment complex or somewhere in the city where you don't have 
access to twigs. Go to the park. Um, ask your neighbor if you could pick up some fallen branches from their yard. Uh, there's, you could even buy branches in the floral department if you have to. But, so all you really have in this project is the cost of your hot glue, um, the cost of a piece of tissue paper, and then some of this little, these little green leaf ribbony thing if you wanna do that. You don't even have to do the leaves on these flowers. Okay, can you see what I'm doing? I'm just scrunching it around this and then twisting it up tight. Um, you could skip the, the leaves all together and then this is almost free. And it's so quick. And I'm thinking I wanna get some off-white tissue paper and do the exact same thing. So each one of these looks different. Each one of them looks messy, but all together they definitely give the illusion that you've cut some branches off of a cherry blossom tree, or some cherry blossom branches off, and that you've, you're, you're um, what is it called, when you propitiating them or something, or just creating a uh, arrangement with the branches, with the blossoms. I do like doing the two different sizes. And I was thinking that it would be pretty to do, to load two of the branches up pretty fully, and then to do one of the branches with just a few little blossoms on it. Do you guys like that idea? This other thing is super sweet too, and it's so easy. So stay with me to the very end so you don't miss this other, this thing right here. It's super easy, oh my word. I think this green floral ribbon stuff that I have, I believe, I picked it up many different places, but I believe this particular one came from the dollar spot at Target. I don't know what I thought I was gonna do with it, but it was definitely not this, so I was glad that I had this. Okay, we'll just go with these, and then we'll put them on, we'll add a few little leaves, I'll show you that. And we'll do our arrangement, um, I'll show you how I'm holding everything together. I think this project would be beautiful in my house, <laughs> maybe in yours too in a, um, a good mercury glass container. And I was looking through everything that I have and I didn't have anything that was really gonna be exactly right for this project. So we're, what we're using here is a vase that I picked up at Goodwill last week. I think it was $1.29. It was not with the bases. It was like somebody had picked it up and they thought they were going to get it and then they changed their mind at the last minute. I think it's real milk glass and it's that hobsnail design. So, but you could do it. You could put your project in whatever you want. Okay, so let's continue building. And you want to pay attention to both sides. Don't just put all your blossoms on one side of your stick. And you can mix them up, small, big, small, big, whatever, however you feel like doing it. They're sticking to my fingers. So before I started actually doing this project, I just, um, I asked Mr. Google, he's so good, he always has whatever answer I need, um, for pictures of what cherry blossoms look like, just so that I could get an idea, because we have, we have these trees where I live, 
but I've never paid attention to how they bloom out of a, here we go. Okay, so then we'll save these. I might add those. Well, I'll put those on the other one. Okay, so then I took some of this ribbon and I cut off a few little teeny tiny little leaves here. Let me get the glue off my fingers first. What do you guys think? Oh my word, look at all those stars. Thank you guys so much. Um, this, I think, is one of my favorite flower projects and we've done a ton. Um, and I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. I really don't. Okay, so when I'm gluing the little leaves on, I like to put them on the back of where the, um, where my little flower is, or maybe to the side. And I'm not gonna put them on every single one. Some of them want to be glued to my finger and not the, oh my word, let's start over. This is a very sticky project. I'm just kind of looking to see where would I like to see a little pop of green. And I don't know, possibly if you had some, some of this that had a little bit bigger leaves, that might be better, but I'm just working with what I have and this works just fine. And it's perfect for the other project that I'll show you in just a minute. Okay, so let me come close. Can you see I just stuck them on different places? along the way. Whoops, I'm not even in the picture, sorry. Look at my pretty picture, my pretty flowers back there. My friend Jen McMongle sent those to me. I had a, a kind of a nice promotion this for last month with Magnolia and she's just the best, most awesome cheerleader. <laughs> to encourage people. Okay, let's do this one and then we'll we'll put our arrangement together and then we'll move on to the next thing, which is just as cute, honestly. This one, I think I'm gonna do just a few. Um, so we have kind of a, whoops. Oh my word. Okay, let's take this one off and throw it away. Let me unglue it from my fingers. This is where this, um, Sherbonder Cool Shot Low Temperature Glue Gun is great because you can see it does not hurt at all to get the glue on your fingers um, with this one. Okay, where was I going right here? But if that was hot glue, youch, that would really hurt. Okay, we have two more flowers. I'm gonna go with this. I might come back later and add a few more buds on it, but just to keep things moving. I'm gonna add a few little leaves here and there. You know, before we arrange it, let's do the um, heat gun so I can show you. Just, I mean, people have been telling me for a while to use my heat gun or my hot blow dryer to melt the glue strings, and I've been saying, yeah, 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 right. That doesn't really work. Well, it really does. So, let me just set this over here. And grab 
again and plug it in. Okay, so pardon the noise because it's going to get loud, but can you guys see that there are glue strings everywhere? Like this one I can see pretty well. Can you guys see that one right there? You can pick as many off as you want and then just... And they sort of go into whatever the surface is. done. I don't see any more obvious glue strings. This one isn't going to have too much, so this will be quick. Ooh, and my little leaves don't like it. They, it just curled that one up, so be careful if you're going to do this with the little leaves I'll show you close up see this one right here right there it basically just curled up it's like it got burnt a little bit but that's okay all right so let's move this aside for just a second and we'll do our pretty arrangement and then we'll do the next thing If you guys decide to do this project, um, to make cherry blossoms, I would love to see pictures. And if you're doing this, like the, um, this idea with the sticks, like it's cherry blossom branches that you cut off a tree, I would do either three or five. And you can fiddle around with how you want them arranged. But I think this would be just absolutely stunning on an Easter table. Um, it would be pretty anywhere. It's going to live here in my um, craft room for a while after I'm done. So what do you guys think? Give me some hearts, some of these, or hearts. Or um, some flowers in the comments if you liked this project. Now, this was the super easy uh, cherry blossoms for dummies version, and it's plenty. Honestly, you don't need to do all that extra stuff that some crafters do. I think this is just absolutely lovely. The only thing that I would possibly do different with this is if I had this color tissue paper and then another color that was just a hint lighter or possibly more of a pink apricot color, then I would use two colors. Otherwise, I think this is great. So inside of my little Hobsnell milk glass container, I just put some split peas. You could do rocks, you could do sand, whatever you want to hold it so that they stand up. Pretty, huh? You guys like it? I'm super excited. Give me some of these. Is anyone on or am I frozen? Okay, let's move on to the next thing. Which... Let's see, I want you to still be able to see this. Okay, the next thing that I'm gonna show you is um, I'm sure you've all seen this 
I don't know what this is called. It has a specific name. It's this green, it looks like, uh, it's kind of shiny and it's a ribbony kind of thing that has leaves on it. So I thought, hmm, I wonder if we could build some cherry leaves on this and then you could either hang them from something or you could tie them around something and these are even easier than what we just did. So, okay, so what I did for these, I'm using more of the, um, I want more of the medium sized flowers. So these are too big for this, I think. Okay, and about every, I don't know, let me get my ruler. Okay, about every maybe six inches roughly, I'm just gonna glue a petal on. Just one of these. So. Nothing fancy about that. I'll hold this up for you guys in just a second. Let's add a few more. I feel like I'm wrestling glue strings today. And it doesn't matter what side you put them on. This is gonna kinda wanna twist almost no matter what you do. Okay, so you can see, let's cut this so I'm not holding this whole entire thing. Okay, so this is what they look like right now. They're just glued on there. And what I did to do this next part is I just took two of these smaller ones and put a little dab of glue on them to hold two together with the petals off center. And then I took the end of my mechanical pencil that has an eraser on it. I could not find any real pencils in our house today. I know we have them, I just don't know where they are. Okay, and I just put the pencil on the center and then I just scrunched everything up. And then I'm gonna put a little blob of glue in the center of my flower and stick my pencil into it and pull my pencil out. And there you go. Look how cute that is. Okay, let's do the one next door. Ooh, I did a long ways in between those two. I guess I wasn't paying very good attention. The reason why I'm using the, the eraser end of it is so I have this flat surface. So I'll just put a little blob there and stick my eraser into that and then lift it up. And then I can fluff that. These kind of look, if you used yellow tissue paper, these look more like daffodils than anything else to me. Um, So who is ready for Easter? Is everybody ready for Easter? Like I said at the start of this video, I'm so excited because we are going to church for an outdoor Easter service. It, and it's complicated this year, of course, we have to make a reservation, which is different from past years where they're almost begging you to come to church. Um, now this year we're begging to be able to go to church. Uh, 
but I am so excited. I was asking my husband just a little while ago if he remembered when was the last time we were in, physically in church. And we think it was um, February of 2020. So it's been over a year, which is crazy. I mean, we, my husband and I grew up at our church. Our kids grew up at our church. It's just so odd to think that we have not physically been. He's, his community group meets at church, which is, but they meet outside. Um, but it's just so crazy to think that we have not been there in that long. Okay, I need another glue stick. And we're about getting there. So what do you guys think? Do you like this project? I love it. I'm totally in love with this idea. Uh, and I'm thinking, oh my word, what other kind of flowers can we do using these same techniques? And I think there's probably a lot of other flowers that we could do. Okay, so see how I'm just scrunching that down over the eraser part of my mechanical pencil. And then I'm going to put a blob here and then I'm going to just set that in the center ishy. And... This would be a project that I think would be really pretty to do alternating colors. What do you guys think? Isn't that lovely? I think it's really, let's see if I can go threes. I think it's really pretty and I think there's a lot that you could do with it. So I will do the same thing um, to get rid of the glue strings. I'll probably clip it to, or tape it to the door or something so I can hold it out. And um, let me show you up close what one of these little flowers looks like. Turn around. They're not perfect, obviously, but flowers in nature aren't perfect either. And, uh, you know, I just think that that is really fun. I'm super excited about it. Let me push everything away here for a second. I'm gonna look at your comments. And then, um, and then I will let this run for a minute or two. I'm not sure what the front of this arrangement is. I think it needs to. I'll have to fiddle. Oops. Oh no, I just broke. <laughs> I just broke a twig off. I'll have to get that back on. Um, so if I had to guess what was the price that this project cost? I would say that at the very most, at the very most, it was 50 cents, if even that, <laughs> which is exactly my kind of project. And it came together super fast and you don't have to have any artistic abilities whatsoever. Um, and it would look great in the center of a table. Um, hey, and if you, let me show you one other thing here real quick. I don't know if you guys got to see this live that I did last Sunday where we made these resurrection gardens. Anyways, if you didn't, it's not too late to make one. Easter is tomorrow, or you might want to make one next year. It is in my videos, and um, you should be able to just look that up under Resurrection Gardens and find it. So thank you guys for joining me today. I hope that you have a blessed rest of the day. I would love, love, love for you to join me tomorrow for Christ and Crafting here at DIY Dreaming. Um, the best way to make sure that Facebook serves you my Christ and Crafting um, would be to Make sure that you've liked and followed DIY Dreaming. There's three little dots up here somewhere. And also to do a this, which is a heart, or a this, which is a thumb. 
or to say something in the comments and then Facebook takes that as um, an indication that you like what you've seen and that you would like to see more. So do that. And I'm going to let this run for just a second so that you can do that. And then I will um, turn it off and I'll sit down and read all your sweet comments. You guys are so very kind to me. And thank you again for all the people that gave me stars. Wow. Um, and I hope, just hope to see you tomorrow. So I'm going to let it run for about one minute. And also, if you want to screenshot this, this is a, a good time to do it if you want to save this project for a future craft that you can do. You can share it to your own personal page. That's one way to make sure that you can find it again. Okie dokie. Thanks <laughs> for joining me. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys tomorrow for Christ and Crafting.